What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora FedEx Amateur Series Season Four Race Number Four. We're here from we're here from North Wilkesboro. Goodness, can't even get the intro out. This is the second consecutive season the FedEx Amateur Series has came to North Wilkesboro. Uh, RCR absolutely dominating qualifying today. Ooh, someone not getting going. Who is? I don't know who that was. But RCR dominating qualifying. Damian Stone and David Cervantes on the front row. And then you have the solo team Penske car of Glenn Dewitt. And then the other RCR driver, Kyle Mess. You got Keith Stevens, Buffoon Sacco, Daniel Williams, Perry Allen, Landon Finway, Gustav Odenberg, and Philip John running at your top 10. Now, who was that that did not get going? It was Richard Sweet, another RCR car. Extremely unfortunate. Hopefully, he does get going. The pace car, I think, is staying out on track. Another lap. Yeah, a delayed start. So, let's do a little bit more of the starting lineup. You got Hunter Spartan, two-time Call of Duty Premier Series uh, winner, making his first career amateur series start. You got Derek Hamill. Let's see if we can find a camera view. Uh, Joseph Rakowski returning to the amateur series for the first time all season. I think we got a Mr. Rowe. Anakin Swanson, Jaden Scott, Wies von Schmidt, uh, Anna, or Anselm Meadows, Matt Flood, your LCQ winner in the 24. And Steve Love, Samet Oskin making his first career amateur series start uh, in the Hendrick Motorsports All-Star Ride. You got Scott Ford, Mario Ramos, uh, Caitlin Wilhelm, your Daytona winner, Ryan Winters, Madison Towell, Danny Coffey and his teammate Hayden, Hayden Meadows, Ryan King, and Ty Morrow, your points leader. Let's get ready for this start. This is the season four race number four from North Wilkesboro. The green flag is out. I think that's the first time ever that... We had a delayed start, and Richard Sweet's going to get real lucky. As here he comes out of the pits. He will take the green. Not rough. The, oh, and interesting. Pit stop's already happening. This going to be a crazy race, boys. I can already feel it. And a caution comes out right off the bat. Probably wrecking trying to get on pit road. Oh, this will be one of those races. Here right back see what just happened. On a scale of one to confused, I am hella. We are watching Wies von Schmidt, your Atlanta winner. And then number 17, looks like he's going to get bumped from the 24 of Matt Flood, your LCQ winner, hard into the inside wall. Everyone's wrecking behind him. Yeah, if he was just trying to get on pit road and it all heck broke loose. Uh, Ty Morrow, your points leader. And then double zero, let's see. Everyone started trying to check up, get to the pits, and that just caused a chain reaction. Danny Coffey, pretty good damage in that 16. All right, I'll be back for the restart. Weird. And the pace car's pulling off. Richard Sweet, the only one a lap down. No one DNF'd off all that. Thank goodness. Uh, hopefully now we can actually get a normal race going. It's lap 6 of 60 coming to the green. On lap 7, I should say. A um, lot of racing left to go. Kyle Mest is your point. Or not points. He's your leader. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, guys. I apologize. Um, Keith Stevens second. David Cervantes third. Philip John fourth. And Daniel Williams rounding out your top five. Everybody going really conservative or really aggressive getting into turn number one. Philip John getting underneath David Cervantes for P3. Richard Sweet not giving his teammate uh, any help. He's trying to get back one lap down. Looks like he will get one lap back there. Oh, he's back on the lap now, apparently. Okay, and I don't know how that worked. Philip John, though, is flying through the pack. He restarted this race outside the top five, and here he is just two laps in. He's going to try taking the lead. He ran full-time amateur last season. Didn't have the most success. A pretty decent rookie season. Went up to the Premier Series for Roush, and he hasn't really done that much this season. It's still early. This could be the bright spot in his Bora career. I think he's already led the most laps he has in a Bora race ever. Daniel Williams, that 77 car, won the championship last season, but with Tyler Kayser, he's moved on to the Premier Series. Daniel Williams, their young rookie, moving up to P2. This is one of the most famed tracks we ever go to. Uh, it's not really a crown jewel race, but you want to win here. Richard Sweet hoping for another caution, man. He's back on the lap, but he's in danger of falling another lap down. A couple cars to lap down now as pit stops are happening. Weird pit strategies going on. Uh, Perry Allen in the all-star ride for JGR, a Premier Series driver. He's moved up to second. A 
couple guys getting trapped a lap down. Watch Hayden Meadows here. Hopefully he doesn't cause a crash with him coming up out of the pits. So Matt Oskin, as we mentioned, making his first career amateur series start in the number 57. Philip John continues to lead lap 13 of 60. Now you'll see these guys pitting a lot. That's because this is an old track surface. It doesn't look that old, but the beauty of NR, I guess. This is a really old uh, racing surface. So tires wear out really fast. Uh, they don't really need to pit for fuel. Maybe once or twice, but tires are gone. Once one lead lap car pits, everyone else is going to be pulled with them. I know they didn't work out that way off the restart, but that's just due to random strategy. So I reckon once someone in the top 15 pits, you'll see everyone else start coming down as well. Right now, the 26 continues to lead. Has a quarter of a second lead over Perry Allen. Two Premier Series drivers battling it out for the lead. And once again, with the win and you're in uh, chase format, if either the 26 or the 25 do win this race, if either of them win it, uh, no one will get locked into the chase this uh, today. But the 77 wins, obviously, he's in. Looks like the 26 might be pitting right here the way he ran a little low. Yes, he is. Perry Allen had a check up for him. Hopefully, no one wrecks. Or hopefully this doesn't cause a wreck like it last time. Perry Allen leading his first lap of the race. That was kind of a blessing for that two car. Got a little bit of a gap on the leaders. Perry Allen coming on pit road. Anyone going to stay out try leading a lap? The 06 is already a lap down. I think the 15 might be on the lap. I'm not sure. You have Daniel Gittero. Got a very important bonus point right there. Got Landon Finway behind him. Danny Coffey giving Scott Ford all kinds of bump and runs. That 16's all up down. The 88 is not. He's being hella aggressive. Now, are these guys on different strategy? Do they pit under that caution? I wonder. I don't know. Because they seem to be going quite a bit further. Oh, man, Danny Coffey. Oh, my goodness. Samet Oskin nearly running over the leaders. I don't know who the new leader is going to be once they cycle back around. And I guess we're watching Mario Ramos for a brief second until we get some order around here. All right, there is Daniel Williams in the 77. I think... The battle for the lead is in between the 34 and the 57 of Smet Oskin and David Cervantes. Smet using his uh, Premier Series experience to use the outside to get by the 34. I haven't really seen that today. Not that it's been a one-group track. We just really haven't seen anyone use the outside to pass. A really good battle. Caution is out. Let's see if this is indeed for the lead. All right, the 12 who was on pit road. Oh, n 41 makes contact with the 16. Under caution. Oh, right in front of Daniel Gitterow. We'll be right back to see what just happened. Ryan King. Oh, my. What? What? I don't know how to feel about what I just saw. Going on board, Stanley Winters. It looks like Anakin Swanson, the three, just tried committing freaking murder. Okay, so that camera view is pointless. Good to know. Hmm, I wonder if whenever he tried giving a slight bump and run to the 31, I wonder if he kind of got like hooked. Is this me good view? I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. That looks that looked kind of deliberate. I don't know. We'll be back for the restart. Unbelievable. The way the caution fell. We see Dean after off that. Uh, the 17 of Weiss Smith's already been out, I think, and Ryan King. But the way the caution fell 
only three drivers on the lead lap, but the 12, realistically only one on the lead lap, he's third in line. The two ahead of him are barely on the lead lap, so unless there's a caution, he could lap the whole field. Landon Finway, really good position, just because he was on pit road when caution came out, everyone else had to pit. Uh, they have slightly fresher tires, and Landon hasn't really had the best car today by any means. I haven't really seen him. I think he's been near the front, but not really in the front. In the front, I said that word. At the front. So, a lot of people getting their laps back right here. Very interesting. The 12 all over the back bumper of Keith Stevens. He does not want to be stuck on the outside and behind slower traffic. And he really doesn't really want to caution. He just wants this to go green to the end. Obviously, he will have to pit again, but this is really weird. You see the pack comes storming by. You know he doesn't want to let that 26 back and lead lap. Philip John has had the best car all day without a doubt. Your points leader, Ty Morrow, coming into today had a, let's see, a 14 point lead over the 90. Caution is out again. We'll be right back, see what just happened. Anakin Swanson. We were just talking about the points leader in the double zero, Ty Morrow. Looks like Vincent Marsh is going to get down into the three. Anakin up into the wall. Daniel Gitterow's in it. Vincent Marsh back into the fence. Danny Coffey. Oh, man. Was that last week's winner in the 90? Let's see. It was Wilhelm Scholz. Barely getting brushed on the side. We're back for three star. Now, a lot of people pit under that caution. Anyways, the double zero came in today with a 14-point lead over the 90. Uh, second in points. Wilhelm Scholz currently running... I passed uh, Wilhelm, apparently. Uh, 10 cars on the lap now. The 12, though, is at the front of the pack, so this isn't good. Kyle Kesey for Kesey Motorsport running second. That's a really good run for him. Daniel Cole third, another strong run for an underfunded team. Uh, wow. But the 90 of Wilhelm Scholz, second in points, probably your points later <clears throat> at this point. Oh, no, he's one spot ahead of Ty Morrow, so that will not be any points later. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. Oh, we got ourselves a cluster here, boys. Oh, Steve Love make contact Kyle Mess. We are just past halfway. A lot of racing to go. I know there's a bunch of cars trapped a lap down, but oh, four wide. No, Stanley, don't do this. Oh, man, they have a family. I know due to pit strategy and stuff, that it kind of sucks a bunch of people caught a lap down, but this has been really good racing. Land of Finway starting to pull away. It's an underfunded car in second place. You guys got to remember that. The two class of the field, though, as the race goes on, has been Perry on in the 25 and Philip John in the 26. Both of them are on the lead lap. Philip is in pretty heavy trap. Oh, Stanley winners. Jaden Scott upside down. <clears throat> wow. All right, they are definitely racing back to the caution. Ooh, something wrong with the 38. Oh, oh. Oh, man, both of the Menards cars for DEI just got caught up in that. We'll be right back, check out both wrecks. Just because I was already on Stacy Wilhelm, I want to check out what happened to her first. Oh, yeah, she's just, yeah, I don't know. Lost power, tried getting out of the way, Scott Ford, and then the 15 nailed her. And then Joseph Rakowski out of nowhere. I went back see, I got what brought out the caution, though. All right, watching Jaden Scott, who was running fifth, a really good run for him. He's missed a lot of races this season. Seeing so turn my Madison Talon down to Stanley Winters. Richard Sweet, who had that problem getting going at the initial start. Smith Oskin sees his young teammate barrel rolling. And now the pack's at a standstill. We're back for the restart, though. Pace car getting ready to pull off. See who DNF'd off all of that. Ty Morrow not DNF'd, but he is currently five laps down. Uh, Stacy Wilhelm, uh, Daniel Gitterow, and Richard Sweet all DNF'd. A bunch of cars still a lap down. Uh, nine on the lead lap. Really crazy stuff. They should have to make one more pit stop. Uh, 19 to go, 18 to go on the restart. Top five goes Lana Finway, Kyle Kesey, Perry Allen, Keith Stevens, and Steve Love. <clears throat> Excuse me. Landon's going to do a really good job clearing the inside there. That's going to be huge for him. 
But Food Shack oh, nearly turning St uh, Stanley Win St Stanley Winters. Good save by that 64. These guys are desperate to get up there ahead of the 12. Kyle Kesey and Kesey Motorsports just really have to be in the position they're in. Perry Allen's got to be frustrated because every time he gets a run on the 78, he clears all the traffic between them. A caution comes out. And the way that 40 is beating up the back bumper of the 64, you know he's going to turn him if he doesn't get out of the way soon. There he goes. Oh, man, the 64, multiple great saves in a row, and that's just going to keep holding up Perry Allen and Kyle Kesey, allowing Landon Finway to pull away. Will the 64 get up there and return the favor? Ryan Winters might actually get up into the 64 this time. Caution is out again. We'll be right back to see what just happened. This damn 48 can't catch a break. Jaden Scott. Oh my gosh. Upside down again into the catch fence. Yeah, I think that's going to finally end his day. I see the 27 of James Marks for Tom Brady Motorsports and one of the solo Pontiac teams, man. He finally made a race and just got destroyed. Back for the restart. Pace car getting ready to pull off. You see Jaden Scott and James Marks both DNF'd. This is good for Ty Morrow. He keeps gaining positions steadily. Uh, still nine cars on the lap. Looks like they're not going to line up there with the leaders. And bad news for really everybody because now there's nobody on the inside. Perry Allen restarting uh, third, fourth in line. And then Philip John back in sixth, seventh in line. Ten to go on the restart. If this race goes caution free, Bafood Sacco blowing up deep in the pack. He was the first car lap down. If this race goes caution free, man, Lane Finway's going to have his hands full, even if it doesn't. Perry Allen going to quickly or make quick work of Kyle Kesey. Get up there to second. Make sure there's no caution or anything. Perry Allen can get up there to try and go for the attack. That Kyle Ke that Kesey Motorsports machine of Kyle Kesey. He's not going to hold the chance. He's not going to have it. I can't tell, guys. It's so late. Nah, I just got off work. He's not going to stand a chance up there against the strong cars, but he's still going to get a nice top 10 out of this. Philip John, I was really on him. So he'd have a really good shot. He's losing spots, it seems. Perry Allen going for his first career FedEx Amateur Series win. It's a full-time Premier Series driver for Joe Gibbs Racing. This could be the first all-star car to get a win this season in the history of Bora. Caution is out, coming to seven to go. We'll have another restart. We'll be right back to see what just happened. Perry Allen is your new leader. So Stanley Winters wasn't really the crash. Uh, it's kind of a result of it. But, man, he can't catch a break. Everyone's running him over. I guess he might be bad in the center, and it results in them getting a huge run on him. So Matt Oskin making his first career amateur series start. Kind of got into him. And then instant karma. Stanley just got tired of being bullied. So, you see that? Okay. Uh, Stanley really didn't do much wrong. He was getting bullied about time he stood up for himself. But, uh, Samet Ozkin is the victim in this one. Not really, I guess, because he was kind of antagonizing the 64 a little bit. Mario Ramos and Derek Hamill were the victims, I suppose. Samet Ozkin going upside down. Ooh, Anakin Swanson got into it a little bit. Yeah, that's it. We're back for three star. This is going to be a good old-fashioned green-white checkered. It looks like... Uh, the 24, Matt Flood lost his ignition. The 40, of food sack, we saw blow up earlier. Camshaft problems. Um, give me a green, white, checkered. Nine cars in the lead lap. Landon Finway's going to have to pull some magic right here to give I. Perry Allen. Oh, and Kyle Kesey. Problems for that Kesey Motorsports ride. Oh, the green flag is out. Kyle Kesey, heartbreak. Oh, that would have been such a good finish, that Kesey Motorsports ride. <clears throat> a lap and a half to go. Can Landon Finway get up there and make a move? As long as they keep it green through three and four, we'll have a green flag finish surprisingly. A 12, will he give the bumper? White flag is out. Perry Allen drove a defensive line, getting into turn one. Landon Finway washed up the track with him. Coming through the back stretch and ring turn three and four. Will the 12 give the bumper? Off turn four at North Wilkesboro. Perry Allen is a FedEx Amateur Series winner at last. What a finish, man. That was a fun race. I know it was a wreck fest and I hate those, but wow, that was fun. 
<clears throat> props to Landon Finway for not giving a bump and run. Oh, all right. Okay, yeah, we'll just act like we didn't see that. We'll be back for the restart. All right, and your official top 10 goes. Perry Allen, first career win and the first all-star uh, driver to get a win this season or in the history of Bora in general. The yeah, Land Fenway second. Daniel Colt, really good run. Quiet third place. Keith Stevens fourth. Daniel Williams fifth. I think got Steve Love, Philip John, the all-star for Roush this race. You got Forrest Winners, Ryan Winners, and Caitlin Wilhelm. Notables outside the top 10. Joseph Rakowski uh, got 15th. Yeah, Marcus Sachi back there, 19th. Glenn Dewitt, 20th. Uh, Hunter Spartan in his first ever amateur series start. Really quiet day. Surprising, he only got 22nd. Damien Stone, uh, your pole sitter back in 24th. David Cervantes started uh, second down there in 25th. Smed Oskin, 26th. Kyle Keese, he went from a, a basically a guaranteed top, what would have been top eight, down to 27th, two laps down. Unbelievable. Uh, last week's winner, Wilhelm Scholz, back in 31st. Ty Morrow, your points leader, coming in. I doubt he is now in 33rd. Matt Flood, your LCQ winner, in 35th. And then all the way down to Wies von Schmidt, who won two weeks ago, back in 42nd. So, uh, I don't really like Wreckfest. I don't like when there's that many cars a lap down. I like seeing green flag racing. But, for the amount of racing we did see, that was really fun. Quite a few bump and runs we saw. Uh, some worked out, some didn't. A really clean finish, which very well could have been a dump and win, I suppose. But Landon Finway, the rookie for Team Penske, showing a lot of class. Wouldn't be surprised if he's in a Team Penske Premier Series ride next season. But congratulations, Perry Allen. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Can you make fans stand to scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass? Never let off the gas till you rode into victory lane. He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you're Daytona bound, let me wonder you're in for a ride.